One of the most challenging parts when it comes to building main stack project is how to model the data. Data modeling simply means that it is a way to structure your data in your application and how the data are going to be related, either one to many or many to many or one to one relationship to produce awesome coordinations in your application. So the first step is that before you start modeling your data, you need to know the features of your application and try to make your data simple and easy to manage, meaning that you need to have a model for a feature in your application. Let me show you how we are going to model this project. To better understand this, I would advise you to watch the video on the features for this project. In that way, you better understand the flow. Let's see the model for this project. We are going to have users. Definitely, users are going to use our application. And we're going to have post, comment, earnings, payment, plan, category, and profanity. Let's explain what each of these does. For the user, it represents the individual users who are going to use our application. And we're going to have post that's going to contain the post that the user or the users are going to create. And then comment for the post and then the earning. This earning will be generated based on number of views for your post. So if your post got more views, then your earnings will be higher. So in short term, let me say revenue. The amount of money that you are going to get when users view your post. And then payment. And this one represents the transaction of your payment when you subscribe to our plan. And the plan over here simply means the type of plans that your application is going to have. That is a pricing plan either free, premium, or VIP, or golden, and then the category of the post, and then profanity, meaning that we are going to create some words that are profane. So if you create a post, we are going to compare that if your post contains some profane words that we have created, or we can use AI to detect profanity in your post. But let's make it simple by creating our own profanity words. Now, let's look at the relationship between these models. Let's begin with user and a post. In MongoDB, we have three or four relationship types. Either one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many relationship. So for user and a post, a user can create many posts and a post belongs to a single user. So this is what we call one-to-many relationship and user and a category. A user can create many categories, but a category belongs to a single user. This is also called one-to-many relationship and then pricing plan. A user can create one pricing plan and a pricing plan belongs to a single user, in this case one-to-one -one relationship. Because in our project we can have one pricing plan or it will depend if you want to have a user creating more pricing plan. But a user here is not just a normal user, it can be the owner of the application that can create a plan. So over here, I'm referring to the owner of the application, but not the post creator. And then I'm going to have payment and a user. A user can have many payments, but a payment belongs to a single user. And then earnings. A user can have many earnings, and one earning belongs to a single user. And then post and comment. A post can have many comments, but one comment belongs to a single post. And then post and category. 
A post can have many categories, but a category belongs to a single post. Or you can make it as many to many. A post can have many categories, and one category belongs to many posts. The choice is yours. And then post and earnings. A post can have many earnings, but one earning belongs to a single post. Because this month, if you have more views, it means that your earnings will be more. 